Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Frost Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Scorps, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember roles can always be reversed. Scorps, I thank you. Like, uh, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank you again. All right, let's talk about your energy. I just got stuck on, um, I saw a pit bull. I don't know if you have one or thinking about getting a dog. Um, it just threw me off while I was talking. I don't know, I'm assuming that's for you. Anyway, coming into your energy, let's talk about um, being sidetracked, things like that. Um, is, is that sidetracked? Yeah, being sidetracked. You ever have a day where it's like, I don't know, you, as soon as you sit down, you forgot the remotes on the other side of the room. Or as soon as you sit down, I forgot to put that load in the dryer. As soon as you sit down, blah, 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 blah. You understand? That's how I feel in your energy. It even took me a minute to get this reading started because it was like, boom, I sat down, I needed this. Then I sat down again, I forgot that. Then I sat down, I, I said, it, it came to me, you know, Squirt, first of all, I, for me to tell you not to be frustrated, I know who I'm talking to, so I'm not gonna say that. What I am gonna say is um, try to push through this as best you can. It's not gonna last long, maybe three to seven days, okay? And behind that, uh, if you have a song that motivates you, because what came to mind for me um, wasn't my song. It must be yours. Bust a move. If you want it, you got it. If you want it, you got it. And that's crazy because I'm not usually a music downloader, but um, that's what came. Just bust a move. Just do it. In this next three to seven days, it's going to be the final attempt that puts you over the edge that that gets you where do you need to be so if you work in the call center and you have a quota that last call is going to be at the last minute you understand if you are i don't know sell a car salesman that last customer of the day right before you getting ready to close is going to be the one you understand so push through um, to to completion because for whatever reason you have to go the full distance to get a return in this energy at least the next three to seven days why I don't know but that's how I feel coming into your energy so hopefully we can get some answers if you're resonating with this energy we're pulling from the oracle of the seven energies can I have Scorpio please please and thank you Pisces is here. Virgo is here. Virgo shows up for you all the time, though. Somebody else is here. Another Scorpio. Are you dealing with another Scorpio? Why do I have so many onlookers in your energy? Cross watchers, mind your business. Libra, mind your business. Scorpio, please and thank you. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Scorp, don't hold on to the foolishness. The Empress is coming in, the royal you. Don't hold on to the, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Do not get mad. Don't, you know, if you get mad, let it go. If you get frustrated, let it go. I'm not saying you're not going to feel these emotions. I can't say don't feel these emotions. I mean, I'm human too. And I darn sure know who I'm talking to. So what I'm saying is, let it go. I'm telling you, let it go. For the next three to seven days, I need you to push through, persevere. Push through, persevere. If you want it, you got it. Baby, you got it. Uh, just bust the move. Just bust the move. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. So what's coming in is the Empress or Royal You. 
embodying who you are, embodying where you stand, knowing what you're worth, knowing what you deserve, uh, sitting in an energy of abundance. There's so much coming in here. A lot of you made some job changes within the last um, maybe four to six weeks, but now the return is getting ready to really start kicking in. Maybe your commission is kicking in. Maybe your or you started a job sooner, but your 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 beginning time. What do you call the beginning time? Your your trial, your, Lord, you're going to have to help me because I know I know what I'm saying here. When you, your, that trial period, when you start the job, like it's over, like maybe you could only get your pay, but now you can start getting commission. That's, it feels commission based because even call center and car salesmen came up. Something with commission, like maybe overtime, you know, you work your regular hours, now you're eligible to work overtime. Like something is really getting ready to pay off huge for you. And you've been working on this. You deserve it. It's going to be a brand new beginning and you're getting ready to start stepping and pulling from that bloodline power and really activating your true potential, okay? Now, nostalgia is here. Oh, my loves, hold on. Um, prepare yourself for a heavy heart in your birthday season or during the holiday season, okay? I have to say that. Maybe, you know, just take this as a heads up. And I know for some of you, it's like, you know, grief is grief and I get that, but I'm gonna share with you my experience. My mom has been gone for years, years, almost nine years. But this year, for some reason on her birthday, I was on the floor for no reason at all. I could not get it together, I, which was literally just, <sighs> Yeah, seven days ago, you know? So believe me, I, I don't, I have no explanation for it. I felt nothing happening in my life that warranted the breakdown that I went through, but it buckled me. For, I, I, it was almost not like I could feel her because I feel her constantly, but it was almost as if her energy was just intertwined with mine and I wasn't ready. It buckled me, okay? Literally seven days, you know, I've had a lot going on. As you can see, these last two weeks, I had to redo the channel. I had to deal with uh, passing of uh, my mother's uh, uh, anniversary. I had somebody pass in Philly, you know? I don't know what's going on. And it's around, again, my birthday time. So mine is Tuesday, yours is coming up, and that's what I'm getting from these whisper things. I call them whispers. I, um, I don't know the proper name, but we used to call them whispers when we were younger. You whisper and then blow. So um, just prepare yourself. If you have a parent that uh, has a birthday or, you know, maybe even during the holidays, if you have, a, if you have to take a minute, just take it. Just sometimes it's just, sometimes you just got to sit on the floor and regroup, you know? But just know that um, your loved one is with you and watching you and keeping you and loving on you, okay? All right, let me get out of that because I ain't trying to get back on the floor. I just got up. Whew. All right, um, let's go from Nefertiri for your spread. Uh, since we have such heavy ancestor energy in here. Yes, see this through. I cannot stress that enough. Man, if you work on commission, you can ready to kill it. I mean, woo, knock it out the box. Commission or overtime, uh, uh, availability. Something is really getting ready to open up for you. Huge. I mean, huge too. Shamalama, mother loving ding dong. Can I have the core for Scorpio? What's at the center of this energy right now? Please and thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. 
yeah this actually covers everything everything so yes it's your energy water energy okay the ten of cups does speak of emotional fulfillment and bliss because i think you're going to be happy i think you are happy and i also think that your emotions because ten of cups also representing sometimes um over be feeling over uh, overly emotional i think all of that is going to be mixed in one for you okay for a minute no that's like um 13th and 16th november no yeah 13th and 16th are uh, is significant i'm i saw 16 first but 13th came came through on death so i have to mention both um but yeah i told you it's gonna be i don't know why this grief is coming in like this i'm i'm telling you i don't know libra went through it too i don't know if our ancestors are just if the veil is thin uh, during this time i'm not an astrologist um if you know they they may be able to help us with that if you want to look into that or google that but the veil is very thin or maybe a medium can explain because i'm hearing oh my goodness i can't even describe it but yes the veil is very thin right now and it's going to feel like instead of you know we all may have feel like our loved ones are near but it's going to feel so different so bottom line is though you also have great changes coming into your life this is a very happy uh time for you because uh a old part of you is dying and a new you is coming through okay so getting through these emotions is going to be a little difficult but it will lead you to um i don't want to say true bliss i want to say realization a uh, happy because it's uh, like i i know the whole story kind of feeling okay crown this energy hanging over you pisces with the ace of swords hangman all right you know hangman is the godly glasses the ace of swords is communication hanging over your head with a godly mind with godly eyes with a godly spirit you are going to be in tune you'll have direct clarity and understanding of what's going on with you pull down from that that's why i said don't get sidetracked with what's sidetracking you with with what's sidetracking you if that makes sense okay it's because this is it's going to come to an end so let it go it's going to be a pain in the butt let it go okay let it go i'm trying to tell you let it go even if somebody is giving you some news he said she said and they said oh okay and keep it moving what's working against scorpio right now please and thank you the boomstick coming in sideways all right so you expect that your takeoff to happen a little faster. Like I said, I know you guys have made a lot of changes recently, especially in employment. Um, but it it's not working against you. It's just that you... How can I say that? It's not working against you. It's more so you're, you're really emotionally not in a position to wield the boomstick right now. You know, the boomstick is a powerful force of passion. And because you're overflowing with water right now, like if it's kind of like you ever laugh so hard, your hands get weak, you know, just trying to give you an example. You ever try to pick something up when you're laughing? It's like you can't even pick it up because your hands are weak, you know, that's how this, this boomstick is. It's kind of like you weren't in a position to hold it yet. So you feel like. I didn't get it and it's not that you couldn't get it. it it was very much available you just couldn't hold it because there was a truth that you weren't honoring with this king of swords it was something direct i ain't gonna lie maybe even a little bit hurtful about your relationship or about a friendship some kind of connection that you have it's a hard truth but you're fighting this thing tooth and nail because you really don't want to it's like i don't i want i know it's true but i don't want it to be true okay, fine, it might be true, but so what? You know, I can fix it, or I can love them anyway, or I do love them anyway. You know, it's not going to stop me from being my best self. I can still do what I want to do. I can um, be independent. I can hold it down. When they fall short, I'll just pick it up, you know, but overall, you're making things harder for yourself. 
I'm just saying. But we've been talking about that for a while. I'm not going back down that road with you. Not today, unless it comes out here. So let's see. Where's this coming from for the Three of Swords and the Strength? Everything I just said, you knew. Everything I just said, you knew. And it may have hurt. And you may have made some moves, but that didn't make it not hard. You know, it, it it's almost as if you made a power move, but it activated your an emotional response that you weren't prepared for. You know what I'm saying? You made a power move, but it did activate an emotional response. It's, the truth is still here, though. Ain't no lie on this. Uh, ain't no lie in the situation. There's no lie in your energy. But sometimes it's hard maintaining, you know, integrity, righteousness, um, honor. Um, you know, walking in a godly fashion, being an example of a Most High, and taming uh, what's inside of ourselves, like fear, anxiety, depression even anger or rage, you know, things like that. Sometimes it's hard, but because of your birthright. Mm. Scorpio, you are moving through me today. Because of your birthright, because of the honor that you have flowing through your veins, you know, it's like you tapping into that. You're starting to understand how that has more power than anything that is working against you, but it's just hard to hold on to it. It's like, I can have those days where I feel like I know I'm the ish. And then it's days that I feel like, what am I doing? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we going with this for Scorpio? Cause they got me in my feelings. The five of wands. All right, Duke's up. Duke's up, square up. I'm okay. You okay with that score? I'm okay with that. That's right. Yep. With the seven of wands too. Square up. Whew. Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, I have to say. Cancer and Virgo, I also have to say. There's also a low vibrational scorpion energy in here. I have to say that as well. You're going to have to deal with conflict by making a stand. Let me say this again. Every ounce in you, everything I just said, square up, dukes up, you ready for that. I I, I was ready for two seconds. I, I, <laughs> believe me, I'm a work in progress. You understand what I'm saying? I was with you with that, Scorp, but you're going to have to deal with this by standing. Not by being a punk, but simply by standing. Standing on your values, standing on your ideas, uh, standing on your principles. You understand? So it's uh, the Seven of Wands energy is not an energy of swinging. But if you do, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? The Seven of Wands is, look, there. you're not going to move me. I'm going to stand right here. Okay? But I'm not going to just, yeah. See, this ain't nothing but the devil. See, there you go. I'm telling you, this thing is fighting. It's playing with your emotions. This um, devil energy is playing with your emotions, Scorp. Um, don't fall for it. Do not fall for this. And it don't have a lot of time, too. Three to seven days. I got ten toes down on that. Three to seven days, this is going to play with you. But it, And, and you're going right into your abundance after that. This is supposed to mess with your money. So in, this is probably at work. So a coworker getting ready to try to challenge you or take your commission or give you a reason why you're not eligible for your seniority or whatever the case is, deal with it, okay, in a way that, listen, it don't matter what you do, because I feel like this person doesn't have authority, but they may have seniority, okay? So I feel like it's like, listen, no matter what you do, I'm not quitting. You're not pushing me out the door. When I leave, I'm leaving on my own. You understand what I'm saying? So stand, deal with that as far as by way of standing, okay? 
Don't hold on to this. If you got to come home and take a hot bath to get rid of this off of your energy, then do what you need to do. But it goes right into your abundance. King of Pentacles coming through because you get out of that toxic mindset. This is how we used to be. We ain't like this no more. All right. But you're getting ready to get, um, I don't know, some kind of commission or income that's going to keep giving. Okay, you're getting help. Three of Pentacles is here on how to structure. That's how I feel with this Three of Pentacles. Man, your co-workers are jealous. Oh, I can't stand these. This is bringing something out of me. God darn, I got to get better with the Lord. Woo. Um, yeah, they, they hot. They mad. They, this is, <laughs> yeah, they big mad. I ain't gonna lie. That ain't a regular five of swords. They big mad. <sighs> the truth is only the truth. King of Swords is coming back. Okay? The truth is only the truth. So if we talk about your relationship, your co-workers, your family, your friends, your, your, your spouse, it don't matter to me. The truth is only the truth. And you have been, the last three, four years, have trying to operate in a fashion of, I am no longer, I am now. That's what you've been saying. I'm no longer, I am now. I am no longer doing this, I now do this. I am no longer giving that, I now give this. That's what type time you've been on. So th that's what you're saying. Say what you're saying and let it be. You ain't gotta stunt on it, you ain't gotta drag it out because it's just simple facts, okay? And then go ahead on about your business and live your best life, okay? Burdens are gonna fall off. Because eventually somebody is just going to realize that you're not responding the way you used to. You're not the same person that you used to be. All right. So be wise because it's if this is a family matter, they're going to keep pushing your buttons. So be wise maybe when you, what what family events you attend and what time you arrive and what time you leave. You know what I'm saying? Be wise about that. You know, come a little early, leave a little early if you got to show up that kind of thing. Okay. Star energy because you're being noticed, my love. Center stage is coming through here. I love it. I love the celebration with the three of cups. I love all of this. All right. Judgment is coming through. I love that because people need to understand that behind closed doors, behind maybe your temper, behind all of that was love. It really, you know, it, it was love. Behind all of your foolishness back in the day, it was love. But now you're protecting it better, okay? You're protecting it better. And what you did was you gathered up your peace and you put that behind the fence with your love and you're protecting all of that. Basically, it's a way for you to now feel like I am in control of my life. I'm in control of my emotions. I am not gonna let you control how I feel, you know, you are going to feel some stuff. It's going to go through. It's you. It's going to come in, but let it go right back out. Okay. Let it flow through and go on it back out. Okay. But you are in control. You are manifesting great things. You are becoming a better person. You're growing. You're maturing with how you're handling things. You're learning new skills, new tasks. I love this all the way around. I love this. I'm going to stop sweating you. <laughs> I hope this helps, guys. I really do. Now, if any event you say, listen, green eyes, you don't even know me. All right. I don't know you. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else. Okay. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel. For those that have been following me, the green eye is gone. I have a new green eye. Yes, it is still me. And there's also a new cash app. Love token number four, green eyes. Love token, number four, green eyes. All that information is also below the video if you want to make a donation. Other than that, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.